Whoa! Where'd you get this? This is very particular for somebody who has never appeared at a tournament in person. It has particular drip. Not the drip, the, 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 the snack box. Let's review. Naguyuki match review. First match, Nubenheimer versus Jonathan Tenney. Uh, I don't know about this defensive posturing from Tenney. It's not feel good. Nubenheimer's round start is like hilarious. Are you f***ing smoking weed, dude? Bro, let me let me explain to you why this is this is bad. Let's 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 first paint the picture, okay? Spin, Beyblade. It is a 14 frame move. And Zotto's 2S, I believe, is a 12? No, 11 frame move. This is a 11 frame move that now beats round start 5k. Why 10A does not do 2S more often, do not know. What you do do as Nago to beat this is 2k, which is like the great wall of normal. This normal is so stupid. Seven frame startup, just auto chain into Beyblade. You can buffer it, hit them behind the 2k. If they do 2s, you will win. Uh, I do not see why you would do spin here. The upside for getting a normal hit is not high. I mean, he still got the edge because Nubenheimer used all of his blood, is swinging all of these buttons, and still doesn't make anything happen. Okay. Great pressure. It is an excellent answer here. This is a, a punish, obviously. And it's a little tricky for Nago to actually frame trap here. You kind of have to thread the needle to hit your opponent. Otherwise, they're just going to block it. And then you're even more negative. They're probably not going to fight back since you can still do another special behind it. But the moment you have jammed specials into your opponent and your opponent has done nothing or it hasn't paid off, you're in a very bad position. Implicit advantage. Implicit advantage is the name of the game. Implicit meaning your advantage is stored in how much resource you have access to in most matchups, okay? I understand we're in the hot seat, but if you see this, there needs to be a 5k. You need you need to get this guy off of this. I don't I don't care if you get hit by a fucking frog or something. Try. Okay. No, dude. No, no, no. What is this, chat? What is if you're saying minus seven or minus eight, you're you're on the right track. I believe this move is minus seven. Minus eight is kind of like a, depending on the distance, right? This is like a magic number where Nagariki actually can't do anything to punish. But if you're within this range here, then Nago can 5k every time. And this is another reason why I am very, very, very big on instant blocking. If... This was an instant block. There would have been no pushback here. Could have got 5k, 6k, 5k, 6h. Critically, all of that would have worked. Because Zato would be over here and not over here. If you're afraid of your opponent actually fighting back, the best thing to do with your resources is actually to continue to press your offense. If you're the one on offense, your opponent can't fucking do anything. They can't do anything. So what is there to be afraid of? Whereas if you do this, you create all these variables, right? What if my opponent waits for me to land and does double Fukio command grab? What if my opponent super jumps after me? What if my opponent, what if, what if, what if, what this, what that? And then before you know it, that's exactly what's happening here. And then it's spinning out of control. Why? Sometimes the best defense is to continue offense. So there's that 2k we're talking about, and then there's the 2s that I wanted to see from 10a last round. It's just standard RPS. What the fuck are you smoking? Nubenheimer. Rubber. <laughs> It's definitely not good to do this. Any excess meter usage here is just, you know, it can it can turn around so quickly, you know. Oh, this, 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 this. Very interesting. This tech five SSS fast RC Fukio forward. So the Nago players were thinking that is a little difficult to maintain advantage and pressure after 5SSS with RC. 
which is true. You don't really get too much of a mix-up or pressure. You get your blood back. That's most of the reason why Nago does it. But to actually continue pressure afterwards is difficult. So apparently this is what they came up with. Let's see the pros and cons of this maneuver. Okay. Since... How about this? Punish. This is not supposed to happen, right? This is this is not normal. Grab beats it. If that's true, then that's 99% what I expected, which makes this probably like horrendous. So to beat this maneuver here, you need a five frame button. Luckily, it is a system mechanic that every character has a five frame button. It's a dress frame. And then if your opponent does that, well, I don't think you can actually grab this if you're Nago. I don't think you can actually grab this. We can test this. No, counter. Counter. Wow. You seen this? Reasons why this is bad. You are guaranteed to win if you have a 5 frame button. You cannot stop this. I think this may still make it bad. Knowing that fact, would 2k beat up back? Now we're just making shit up, aren't we? That catches pre-jump. But then loses to that. If I were Nago, this is not where I would be. <laughs> when you're doing this type of thing as Nago, it's always avoid the worst case scenario. A 6 frame move versus a 7 frame makes a difference of hitting, pre-jump, and getting up backed. A lot of Nagos have been doing this lately, and it always disgusts me. They cancel it, input 336k on frame 19-ish, and an immediate... And a, an immediate close slash will trade with four frame buttons and catch jump squat. Also, a guaranteed bite opportunity since this works against IBFD. Blood negative when canceled off a of far slash slash. FD makes reversal throw with. Uh... So this is a true just frame. <sighs> I don't know. This is okay. If you're not getting the just frame, I think you're you're having problems because your opponent can just up back right i wonder if he actually hit jump start up i don't i don't know that it did i'm pretty sure tenny was back dashing here i think the best you can do as now go versus somebody who actually knows what they're doing is force in the guess and then take your best bet and this is it it was just a correct guess on nago's end god that was just the first game i'll speed it up Wow. Holy shit, why did you- Every special usage in this matchup Without is just so ado, costly. Shut the fuck up. Ah, see he missed a- he missed a punish on his 5H. This is a freebie here. All he has to do is Drunker Shade, Frog, blah blah blah. He goes for it here, right? So that's another mistake. I'm interested to see how... Neumannheimer does when he meets Scobo. Nago players. If Zotto is ever across the screen... There is a 99.9% .9 chance that this motherfucker is going to do a pose. Save yourself the trouble and don't shoot clones into him. It's not going to work. This is already a, a huge disadvantage, right? Until Tene got hit for no reason. It's because Tene, instead of actually looking at the screen and hitting Naguriyuki for doing Fukio forward, he is up backing. Which is going to be a reoccurring theme in this top 8. Oh my god. Backdash, 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 backdash. What the fuck do you think is going to happen? Don't do that. Now this round is in contention. How exactly do we go from this life bar to this life bar? For, for, for reference, the number of backdashes that is probably okay... Is like right here. Hold on. Then Hold on. stop backdash. Oh, this was a humongous blunder. Overusing faultless defense. We have 50% meter to leverage 
our advantage in resources compared to our opponent. And then all of a sudden, boop, we don't have those resources anymore. What did you gain from using Faultless against Nago? Anything? Anything at all? Nope. Wow, you could have had that meter for something else completely. Huge 6P. I got to give this one up to Nubenheimer here. We're doing Fukio forward slash whiff. Recover in time. 6P. Boom, boom. If I was better at, about this, then I probably would have beat 10A, huh? Amazing 6P. DP. 6H OTG. Excellent. Fukio forward. Delay close slash. Looking for a gold burst potentially. Forces blue burst. And it doesn't look great for our friend 10A. But 10A finds a way to fuck it up. Where Where's the meme with, like, uh, the guy who's just, like, staring at something? And then the point is going over his head? That's just the way it be. And we're dying. And we're dead. Damn, this, motherf this motherfucker popped off. I'm over here. I'm... I'm to the I'm I'm to the side I'm to the side with my with with my face and my fucking palms. I shit you not. So we're gonna play a game chat. How many times does Bean let Nago Fukio at him? My God. Oh, that was so embarrassing. Boom, 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 boom. It was this round when I thought, dude, Nubenheimer is fucking dead. He has no chance. What the fuck is happening? This is this is this is some scrimbler. This is some shit I would do. <laughs> Foiled. Doing this pressure on Chip is probably Marine fake as fuck. Struggle to get that amount of pull-ups. Yeah, well, I'm just a little Wisdom. More advanced than a if you can show me this being a true block string, I'll be very impressed. But since Chip has a three frame, basically any time you're you're beer seeing on somebody. Who has a three frame button there's almost no way to win the only way is with grab yeah if you want to fact check this you can you can for sure let me know i got i could smell this being fake this shit is fucking myth busted for sure myth busted moving on okay horrible horrible situation whoa what did you try and do Let's see. Because this is fake as hell too. Frame by frame. Mythbusters. Block Beyblade. Looks like 5P. Let's do it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Lol? That's interesting. That's interesting that he would press 5P. Or did not press 5P, actually. This is not counter hit. This is not counter hit state. If he actually pressed it on time, then <laughs> what? It would like go through. It would go through. That's why we have a privileged ass 2K. Is that beating Beyblade into DP with no delay? You betcha. But almost anything else will beat it here. This is an anomaly with Chip's 5P specifically, since Nagaryuki's DP hits high. Myth busted! How this happened? We have no idea. But this shit was fake. As fuck. How this motherfucker got hit? I got no clue. Even with sluggish reactions, you can grab this. Maybe it's better against Jabs than we thought. But it just means he reacted with the wrong tool. Did he just do Fukio back? He did 
Red RC backwards. 5 SSS. 5 SSS. RC. Backwards. Fukio forward. Close slash. So we have. We have a confirmation. 5k BRC. Is supposed to trade with 3 frames. And safe jump. A DP and 6p. Knowing this fact makes this fucking horrendous. This is horrendous to do against 3 frame character, which means myth busted. Uh. Chip Bros. If Nago is across the screen and you have eyes in your skull, if you see Nago do Fukio. Do dash 2k. Question mark? Figure. Profit. And then this won't happen to you. So our tally. One. Two. Get a load of this guy. Dude, this shit has to be fake. <laughs> Unspeakable. Time for Mythbusters. Are you proud? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is this is just some made-up shit. There's actually not enough frames to make any real pressure here. This is all predicated on fear. Well, I like to do. This is real. Mythbusters Siotaku edition. Uh, continuing. What the fuck? This motherfucker. <laughs> what are you pressing grab for? I, I have no idea what you're pressing grab for here, but okay. He fucked up so badly that it paid off. Let me tell you guys something. And girls and unidentifiable beings of strange nature. When you get hit by your opponent and you have a burst, you want to wait until you get hit on the next situation to burst. For example, let's say you get DP'd by Leo White Fang, and you know he's going to go into back turn. Make him mix you up and then burst. Don't just burst outright. You're making it too easy. You're actually leaving win rate on the table. You understand? Because who knows? You could just be godlike and you could just block everything, right? You have to give yourself a chance. Yeah. He was knew I ever should have lost this game, probably. What was that? It's just, this is, this is obviously not good. And Bean has blocked this almost every time. And then he's using bursts and YRCs. You know, this makes it so hard. Clown on Nubenheimer? I'm, I'm pulling ranked on that one. If you bring that shit to the table again, you gonna hit me with it? Sure, bro. <laughs> What's your answer to the situation? This is a hoax, I believe. This, this is all hoax shit because Chip has a 5 frame. Uh, versus another character, I'd be like... You're kind of spin. If the goofy shit works, go for it. The whole point is to understand what fucking sucks so people don't go fucking repeating it for no reason. To understand what is goofy shit and what is real. We've already found shit that was real, but we found a lot more goofy shit. Dog, I could give less of a fuck if something works or who fucking won the tournament. You fucking understand me? It's all about being the fucking most knowledgeable you can be. Think I give a fuck who won a fucking tournament? 
think I give a fuck that I got ninth place? Who, who, you think I care that I won EVO or whatever? It's all about being the best I can be. No. Play for the end game. Don't fucking talk to me about if it worked. I don't give a fuck if it worked. If you know your opponent has common sense, it's best to try a, a pinch of some like robbery tech. Okay, I'm gonna Fukio forward here and do close slash like just to like test the waters, right? And then you build up from that. Some people like Bean, if you just Fukio forward at them, you're just gonna win the set 3 0. If it's Gobo, He's going to 2k2 to you, and you're not going to get a chance to play after that. You have to test the waters. I'm not talking about testing the waters, okay? I'm talking about details in the matchup that come up again and again and again. Not even the goofy shit. Why did this set happen this way? What's our tally at? One, two, three. He is taking notes. This is very bad that Bean let this happen. But this is what you do as Nago to people with bad reactions. You do Fukio 4 normal grab. 27 frames. Are you going to react or not? If you don't, you're you're in deep trouble. That's that's forever. That's forever. So let's let's increase the, the Fukio or the robbery count here to 4. This is a grab punish that Bean actually went for. This is a blunder. This is a blunder. This is a grab punish. Yeah, see? He knows. So Chip's air normals are so cracked that the chance of you actually hitting him with 6p is like shockingly low. It doesn't matter what game it is. Chip's air normals are the best in the game. So the best you can do is trade and he goes for the right combo too. Excellent. Good try. No dice. If you were a little bit faster, then you would have traded with him a little higher and the 5k probably would have picked up, but good awareness not to go for the combo. So what are your thoughts on, what do you think about going for a 2h punish here? 6h? You should have done 2, yes, you should have done 2h. I think this is, this is leaving money on the table. As we discussed earlier, this close slash is a free burst. It is, it is a freebie burst. I think you're making it a little bit too easy for Sir Bean. Wow, shocking, shocking IED here. This is a little shocking that he just goes and that you didn't do anything. Well fucking played. Alright, huge blunder from Nubenheimer here. Doing clone into nothing uh, gets you nothing at all, unless you're right next to them. So this is just an accident, obviously. But that's how you, you, you have to recognize. Oh, this is a monster all in. Okay. So right about... Here? Bean should realize, based on how many specials Nubenheimer has used, that this here is a freebie grab punish into the corner. Why is he backdashing? Bean forgot how to play. Scratch a number one off for the robbery count. Why is he doing anything with Nagolas and Bird Rage? We just don't know. He could have done, he could have back grab, watched him pop, did leaf grab, and it probably would have killed. I'm pretty certain that you can fuzzy mesh this. It's, this is not necessarily a fraud tally. No, no, not necessarily. You know why, right? It's because he has meter. He has meter, so the context is different. Oh my god, he did it! Boom! He didn't even punish it. Because he's doing 5k. Did if Numenheimer did grab here, it would have worked. <gasps> oh god, I remember this. I remember this. Oh my god. Dude, this motherfucker got away with murder. It, it was right here. This round, 
this round my fucking my hands were on my head like this there's probably a photo of it the whole time honestly if you get bursted by naga the correct thing to do is probably fucking run the fuck up and take your space back because he can't get any pressure started unless he connects with far slash and if you just create this situation for him then that's what he's gonna fucking try and do here's another unanswered fukio i hope you have fun fucking watching strive Bitch. <laughs> what if he sends out clone in this specific scenario? Uh, ignoring the blood part, you would just jump over the clone, and then he would have to decide, are you gonna jump over him, or are you gonna IED backwards? And either way, he probably has to spend blood or take a really bad swing. Ignoring the bar, ignoring the bar. Dude, if Nago sends out clone here, you just jump it, and then he has to make some interesting decisions about what to do. The, the moment you're in motion, the decision making becomes very, very dubious as Nago, because you can't hit the whole screen. It's just not possible. Welp. Add a tally to the fraud counter for that drop combo. Still winning, humongously though. I don't see a way that Nago can win this. This is just so bad. It would require perfect defense, perfect neutral. All right, that's a start. Right there. Wasting your meter. Okay. What a fight, P. Huge. And a blood rage. Fraud counter increase. Not looking at the blood gauge. How many specials is this, chat? Let's count them out. Mask on. One. Two. Three. With like five Fukios. Okay. What do we have? A burst. If you just burst this motherfucker while he's doing this, you just win instantly. Okay. You don't have to do anything else. So this is like... This counts for like... Three tallies, okay? All you have to do is just blue burst on block and it's over. This is why burst is so important. Get a load of this guy, dude. Nubenheimer? Ugh. In my office. Would Nubenheimer have won that if Bean played better? I don't know. I mean, if Inago is all inning you and he's going to blood rage, you don't you don't lose the blood rage punish by up backing. You only lose it by up backing when he's popping. If he just does Beyblade into you and he's out of blood, or he does Fukio into you, then you just kill him. Mm -hmm.